Hello, good evening. We're going to start off tonight and talk about something kind of light. So we're going to start by talking about how to change the world, how you can change the world. Now, you may not know it, but you actually have a future that's already been written. You had something to do with writing it, but you didn't entirely write it. So the future that you already have that's written is known as your default future. So your default future is made up of your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations, and it answers a very specific question, which is this. What is likely to happen if nothing unexpected comes along? So imagine, if you will, your perfect day. A day when you're on the beach, on a chair, looking at this. And just imagine what is likely to happen if nothing unexpected comes along. Probably more of the same, right? You'll order another drink, you'll turn to the next page of your novel. So I want you to notice that you have a future in that moment, given that it's default, right? And there are actions that you'll take. And the actions that you'll take don't require any thinking. They are hardwired into the default future of that moment. Now the truth is, every organization, every person, every family, every team, every group of friends has a default future. It's already written and it determines their actions unless they do something to rewrite it. We asked some doctors, what's the default future of the state of medicine? Here's what they said. Our pay will be cut, our, professional, our profession will be marginalized, we won't attract the best and the brightest, the quality of care will suffer. Okay, so doctors, if that's your default future, what will you do? Well, pretty much the minimum to not get fired, right? <laughs> minimum to keep a license, we'll look for something to do other than medicine and network like mad. Well, what about the fact that we're in California? We walked to a big state agency and said, so what's your default future? And they said, well, the politicians and the executives are going to keep cutting our budgets. There's going to be layoffs. Morale will fall to basically zero. It's just going to be misery all around. Okay, so if this is your default future, not just living in your brain, but in your head and in your gut, here's what we'll do. Hunker down, basically do nothing, wait, and again, get ready for that next job. Now, it's not entirely bad. I do a lot of work with some of the most uh, respected companies in the world. And one of them is this. They said, we're going to continue to be a great company until the creep of mediocrity comes in. <laughs> and we'll become complacent and arrogant. And one day we'll wake up and say, how in the hell did we become General Motors? <laughs> now given that, here's what they said we'll do. Enjoy the ride, take fewer risks, keep doing what, we'll, what we're doing right now, and basically wait. Okay, so again, the default future determines your actions. Notice it requires no thought, it is automatic. So once you say what your default future is, or of your team or company or family, here's the question, do you want it? Now, if you're like my British friends and your little pinky goes up as you're sipping your tea and say, well, I, I would opt not, I, I hope not, or in California, dude, I really hope not, then it will win. The only defense against a default future is to say, hell no. To look at the whole thing in its entirety, including the actions that you take, and get a whole group of people together and say, this is what the default future is, these are the actions that we're gonna find ourselves taking, and we are just going to say no to that. And when you put yourself in that category, you are putting yourself in the category of the greatest leaders who have ever lived. That is what Martin Luther King did. He rewrote the future of racial relations in the, in the United States by saying what the default future was, by saying what the actions were that would go along with it. We're all on autopilot, and he and everyone else said, hell no. And that's the moment of choice. We call this the battle of the futures. There are two and only two roads. One of them is the default future. If you like it, don't do anything. It'll happen. It's coming at you. Or you can invent your own future by asking the question, if I don't want that, like Martin Luther King said, what do you want instead? Now you get to pick up the paintbrush and redo the future the way you want it. And ask yourself, what are very specific actions that are consistent with the future I want, not with the future that's coming at me? So let's bring all this home. You articulate the default future. You get a group of, of people together. And together you say, yes, that's it. That is the default future. And hell no. Then what? Then you start asking the group, the tribe. So if we don't want that, what do we want instead? And keep going until they say, yes, that's it. And I'm going to put my, 
reputation and all of my assets on the line for that. That's what I want, that's what I choose. That in a nutshell is how you change the world and how you rewrite your future. Thank you very much.